Are you ready? I don't know if you are ready for the embarrassing book. It's embarrassing. I keep it in the hoarding space. All right. Influence. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. It's almost like something's wrong with them. And I love it. This whole book is their self-consciousness packaged to disguise their self-consciousness. I can't get enough of it. It's like reality TV. I'm, well, I'm not a comedian. I was a comedian. Can you unbecome a comedian? I am a recovering comedian. It did not fulfill me in any way. You're on all the time on stage. You get off and then you're sitting at a table with all these other comedians and you're like, oh my God, I have to keep going. So with Happy Ending, I get to be a comic in the way that fulfills me and not in a way that makes me feel dead inside. Part of that is that I can improv. I just was told when I was born that it was my duty as a citizen and a native New Yorker to hate New Jersey, so I just do, okay? So that's that. Okay, well, it's sort of organized chaos in here. This area is, uh, I've read, I wanna read, combination. Over there, is the phases, the fads. It's just like a, a, like a panoply of madness over there. In my office, I have my what it means to be crazy books, but my bedroom is where my real psychological issues take root. It's almost like I'm afraid that if I leave the books that I really, really wanna read outside of my bedroom, they're gonna disappear. When I was little, I had like, intense, intense separation anxiety, and I wouldn't sleep in my room because I was afraid that if I fell asleep, I would wake up and my entire family would be gone. I've like transferred all my like trauma and my like basic fears onto these books. I am not embarrassed, by the way, about Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. I wanted to be a writer when I was very, like when I was 10, but when I read that, I got it. I was like, oh, when you write something about something, you're really writing about something else. Okay, so The Long Haul, it's about an alcoholic and his codependent girlfriend and sort of all the consciously bad decisions that they make over the course of their doomed six-year relationship. My big revelation was that I write autobiographical fiction. That book literally had to be written whether it was gonna get published or not. It just had to happen. And um, just the same way that, um, you know, you have bad shrimp and like it's, you're gonna throw it up. I don't remember seeing any friends in those nine months. I don't remember anything except for um, cleaning my brother's yoga studio which is what I did for my job, and writing. All of a sudden, I love nonfiction. Never happened before. The story of Henrietta Lacks, she's a black woman who went to the doctor and she had cancer and they operated on her and without her consent or her family's consent, they took some of her cancer cells. It's like a thriller about blood cells. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh my God. I'm like, I wanna marry this book. I just wanna go in the bedroom for a minute. These are my subway reading books. They don't need to come inside my room because I know they're okay there. Happy Baby by Stephen Elliott. He just takes his heart out and just like puts it on the paper and just sort of like rubs it around and is like, okay, book's done. You know, he, he really, uh, he, he, he just lets it out. Jason Brown, this is fiction. Often I like don't remember like plot details or um, actually even the story. It's like living through something and like I can't really remember the details of it but I can feel the experience in me still. That's what this was like. When I really love a book, if it's pristine and clean then I obviously don't love it enough. We have 
Jesus' son with the burn hole. I love the living shit out of that book. I, I smoked on it, I drank on it. It is so obviously well loved. Burn hole. Burn hole. And so I met Dennis Johnson at a signing. And he looked at it and he goes, What do you read this in the bathtub? Yeah. That's that's a sign of love, Dennis. And that's him mad at me. <laughs> Oh, no.